Moving on now to neighboring Tamil Nadu, where Chennai is facing its worst water crisis in recent memory. The four main reservoirs supplying the bulk of city's drinking water have completely dried up. The combined storage... Mele tanni kastana enna pannin sonna dengu tanni thamba. Velli gamma tanni varudu nitschika sani gamma varudu nati gamma varudu tinga gamma varudu me maasthal yalu. Water has run out of taps. Reservoirs are bone dry. Residents are struggling, relying completely on water tankers. பெரிய சண்டை பார்க்கலாம் புதுசு அதெல்லாம் எனக்கு புதுசாக தான் இருந்தது அந்த ஃபைட்டுன்றது அங்கே ரொம்ப புதுசாக இருந்தது தண்ணிக்கு சண்டை போட்டு நான் அந்த நடு ரோட்டில் நின்று சண்டை போட்டு நான் பார்க்குறேன் ஈவன் ஸ்டார்டிங்கில் நான் பேச யோசித்தேன் அதுக்கப்புறம் என்ன ஆச்சுன்னா நானும் சண்டை போட ஆரம்பிச்சிட்டேன் எனக்கு அது பழகிடுச்சு பிகாஸ் எனக்கு தண்ணி வேணும் நல்லா அறிமுகமான கூட பிரச்சனை இதுவாயிடும் நீ என்ன நான் என்ன அப்படின்னு பேசுவோம் நம்புறேன் அப்படி நல்லா பழகிருந்தால் கூட அந்த தண்ணிக்குன்னு வர சொல்ல ரெண்டு பேருக்கும் வாக்குவாதம் வரும் அந்த அளவுக்கு கஷ்டப்படும் தண்ணி ரோட்டில்ரி <laughs> It took just 2 years of drought and extreme temperatures to impact South India's major cities. But rural people have been on the front line of water scarcity for years. Romba vedana pala vandu irukke. Oore paale vanna marke kadakku. Romba kashta padrom. Romba vedanayum irukke. Irukiradha vida chettu mutta thaalam nu varum. Sadhguru is not the sort of guru that stays quietly back in his ashram. He has been in the public arena for decades. A vocal, irreverent, practical and modern guru. He has been celebrated for teaching India's yogic wisdom to people from all over the world. People are asking me all over, Sadhguru, why Kaveri? Why are you doing this? You should be teaching people you should be making people meditate why are you doing this i am asking you what bigger disaster are you waiting for it's with his position of public influence and support that sadguru has undertaken a 12 year commitment to revive the kaveri so at this stage in my life i shouldn't be taking 12 year projects <laughs> i shouldn't even be buying maybe unripe bananas uh, but here i am committed to 12 year project see the day when we understand river has a life then management would be easier if my generation and my next generation does this job i would say that is the greatest contribution we are doing giving to the the globe by addressing the global warming at the same time ensuring water to our children kaveri is not just one 800 km long stretch of water it's a complex and interconnected system of water sources that create and sustain an entire water system called the kaveri river basin Originating in the water-rich Western Ghats, the river meanders its way to the Bay of Bengal through the agriculturally fertile states of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Most of the water in the river relies on monsoon rains. When the rain was coming down in 140 days, it was easy to preserve this water for 365 days. But today, our rain is happening largely in 40 to 75 days. this is one of the problems we are facing the entire system now is boiled down to think about climate change the micro hydro climatic region what we had earlier days is totally absent if there is two consecutive monsoon failures what you will face is not going to be pretty at all it's going to be a great disaster this year we clocked for the year about 315 inches 
which is the highest rainfall ever. There was a lot of water, but when the rain stopped, everything went dry. Kaveri Calling's plan to revive the river and its precious water is to put the land back under shade. Trees play a crucial, if hidden, role in the ecology of a river system. But for them to play that role, they actually need to be there. A staggering 87% of the Kaveri Basin's native forests have been cut down. I'm devising something that'll help people to live well with the river, rather than living in such a way that your efforts to live well will destroy the very source of your life. Kaveri Calling is inspiring a people's movement to save the river. This is not a one-day rally, this is twelve years. Let's keep the spirit up. This is a question of life and death for the leaders. But first, people need to understand the problem. Riding motorcycles over 3,000 kilometers along the Kaveri Basin area, Sadhguru's priority is to create a wave of awareness and understanding. If we don't do this one thing, the future generations will look upon us with resentment, not with respect, that's for sure. Because as a generation of people, we have caused the maximum damage. There is a major reason why the river is running out of water. India is the largest extractor of groundwater in the world, taking almost three times more than China, despite having a similar population. In the Kaveri River Basin, underground water extraction is in a critical category at 90% annually. Any river basin, if it is getting dried up means, this is because of not managing the groundwater table also. We used to get a lot of surface water flow. Now, the reverse process is happening. The main agricultural crops in the Kaveri River Basin are rice paddy and sugar cane. Short-term monocrops like these are extremely water-intensive. One kg of rice requires 2,500 liters of water on average. The river is competing with the farmers for the same water. As there is a problem, there are solutions. Solutions are not impossible solutions. They are very much possible if we have 242 crore saplings planted in 12 to 15 years' time you will see the results in a big way. Networks of deep-rooted trees help capture rainwater by making the soil permeable and porous, allowing rainwater to percolate, add micronutrients, and finally, recharge the groundwater zone. While the catchment is dominated by monoculture plantation, the river or stream can sustain the water only for six to eight months. Now this also gets reflected in the livelihood of the farmers. Wherever the people have the shortage of water, they can grow only one crop in a year. Today, farmers can't rely upon how their ancestors have farmed because the conditions have fundamentally changed. This village in the Mandya district of Karnataka has grown sugarcane for hundreds of years. It lies just 15 kilometers from the Kaveri River. For some members of this village, there was only one way out. Fifteen farmers committed suicide in the past year and a half. Afforestation of the Kaveri River Basin all 82,000 square kilometers of it relies upon tens of millions of farmers who own the land. Farmers just like these. Restoring green cover is not just impractical, it is totally unfeasible, unless it's profitable for the farmer. No, no. 
This Tamil Nadu farm converted to tree-based agriculture or agroforestry 10 years ago. பிரதான பயிர் வந்து தென்னை பண்ணிருக்கோம் தென்னையில வந்து ஊடு பயிரா பல பயிர் வந்து பண்ணிருக்கோம் அதுல வந்து மிளகு ஜாதிக்காய் வாழை டிம்பர் வேல்யூ ட்ரீஸ் மஞ்சள் சேனைக்கிழங்கு சாத்துக்குடி ஆரஞ்சு எலுமிச்ச இந்த மாதிரி எல்லாமே பண்ணிருக்கோம் This is an economic plan this is extremely lucrative for the farmer and in 5 to 7 years his income could go up anywhere between 300 to 800% ஸோ மா மற்ற பயிர்கள் மூலமாகவும் இன்கம் வருது இதுவும் இன்கம் வருது ஸோ நிறைய வகையில் வருமானம் வருங்கிறது ஒரு கண் எதிர வந்து அது நிரூபிச்சதுனால நிறைய விவசாயிகள் வந்து இதில் ஆர்வம் ஆகி அவங்களும் வந்து அவங்களோட ஃபார்மில் வந்து பண்ண ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கிறாங்க இன் திஸ் ஃபார்மர் ஸ்டோரி லாய்ஸ் த ஹார்ட் ஆஃப் த பிளான் டு ரீஃபாரஸ்ட் த காவேரி ரிவர் பேசன் டு மேரி இக்கானமிக்ஸ் வித் இக்காலஜி ஆஸ் தி ஓன்லி ப்ராக்டிகல் சொல்யூஷன் டு ரீஸ்டோர் தி இக்காலஜி ஆஃப் த ரிவர் பேசன் When I was a part of launching this uh, decade of action for water by United Nations, at that time I discussed with a few experts there, all of them said, Sadhguru, this is a fantastic plan. If you can implement it, this is it, this is a way out. Kaveri Calling is running a unique crowdfunding campaign. The public are being asked to support farmers by sponsoring tree saplings. and interested farmers are being asked to plant them on their own land even children are breaking their piggy banks and donating to this wonderful cause indrikku vandu 5 lakham check avarku namba kudukka porom it is only by looking at the people support that we have that the state governments respond the way they respond because they know the reach is so wide the challenge is to get farmers on board because there is a minimum 5 years before the trees become profitable people who have the land the time and the energy to plant and grow these trees are the farmers so the real scale is to convince the farmers to plant these trees so in terms of scale of operation this is something uh, of a scale that i've never heard happened in the country tree based agriculture is a game changer for india's debt ridden farmers but many farmers know virtually nothing about it amele ellarunu kuda na vellarunu kuda sumaru ond 100 varshagalinda vanijya belegalne belita bandavaru hagage namma janragalige bhaya ide to show farmers the possibilities of tree crops cultivation sadguru has inspired a team of 300 plus volunteers to dedicate themselves to india's rivers we are flagging off this 28 vehicles which will touch 4850 villages in the next month educating farmers about the benefits of agroforestry namge bartta idanta labadalli iga anta labana nau kanadakke sadhya aagta illa ee vattina jeevana shailina nirvahane madodakke adu saaka aagta illa baruvanta labhamsha ella krushiguru kuda tanna makkalna krushi madodakke bitkortta illa iga NGO Project Green Hands has been running tree-based agriculture trainings for farmers in Tamil Nadu since 2008. We have planted uh, the agroforestry trees with farmers with more than 70,000 farmers in Tamil Nadu in the last 12 years. So what we are trying to do is to scale up the whole program in such a way that uh, no farmer is not interested to do it. Agagi a vandu bhaya ivaga agle raitralli adu ide. Adanna hogalaadisbeku. ಖಂಡಿತ ಕೃಷಿ ಲಾಭದಾಯಕವಾಗಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ನೀವು ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ನಾವು ಸಾವಯವ ಕೃಷಿನ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಅರಣ್ಯ ಕೃಷಿನ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಮತ್ತು ಏಕತರನಾದಂಥ ಒಂದು ಬೆಳೆ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಬದಲಾಗಬೇಕು ಸೆಂಥಲ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾರಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೀ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಗೋ ಇದು ಅಗ್ರೋ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅದಾದ ಮರಪೈರೋಡು ಕೂಡಿಯ ಪಣಪೈರು ವ್ಯವಸಾಯ ಮಾಡಿರಬಹುದು ಎರಡೇ ಮುಳಿಮೇಳ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿ ಅಂಗದ ಬಂದಿದೆ ನೌ ಹಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ देम ಹೌ ಹಿ ಡಿಡ್ ಇಟ್ there will be substantial amount of benefits occurring to the farmers it will also benefit the entire society because there, there is a huge amount of water that can be saved which can be used for uh, other efficient uh, uses kadamiyana varchi irundha pa eppdi nu paathina 1200 adila bore la thanni illa sutta water pa illaiyum engeyume thanni illa adha mari oru nela vandiruchu 
ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி மினிமம் வாட்டர் நாங்கள் கொடுத்துட்டே இருந்தோம் அப்போ வந்து இந்த மூடாக்கு வந்து ரொம்ப பிரமாதமாக வேலை செஞ்சதை கண்கூடாக பார்த்தோம் ரொம்ப பிரமாதமாக நாங்கள் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் பண்ணோம் அந்த மினிமம் வாட்டர்லேயே திஸ் கிளைமேட் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம்ஸ் யூ ஹேவ் ஸோ மச் ஆஃப் ரெயின்ஃபால் ஒரு யூ ஹேவ் ட்ரவுட் ட்ரீஸ் கேன் ஃபேஸ் தீஸ் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் இன் அ பெட்டர் மேனர் ஸோ ட்ரீஸ் இன் த ஃபார்ம் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் ப்ரொவைட் ரெசிலியன்ஸ் டு அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் this rice wheat eating has come not because it's our cultural phenomena this has happened only because whatever in their wisdom at that time they gave support prize only for rice wheat and sugar cane so these three crops grew so we've been pushing for this that millet should get this support for the first time the central government announced minimum support prize for millet millets are referred to as wonder cereals because they are more healthy we have to more popularize it so that you know people make healthy choices nutritionally if you compare millets with rice millets are higher in terms of protein fiber and several micronutrients including iron zinc magnesium etc and also calcium it's higher in calcium but one good thing about millets is that this crop is drought resistant ஊரிலை தாவரத்தோட இந்த மரங்களுடைய தலைகள் இந்த ரெண்டும் சேர்ற போது கூட ஜீவாமிரதம் நாட்டு மாட்டு மண் சாணம் இதையும் சேர்த்து விடுற போதுங்க மண்ணில் அது புலவளப்புத்தன்மை வந்துடுது ஆல் ப்ரொடக்டிவ் சாயில்ஸ் கேன் பி ஃபெர்டைல் பட் நாட் ஆல் ஃபெர்டைல் சாயில்ஸ் ஆர் ப்ரொடக்டிவ் தி ஃபெர்டைல் சாயில்ஸ் ஆர் ப்ரொடக்டிவ் ஓன்லி வென் தேர் இஸ் அடிக்குவேட் ஃபிசிக்கல் அண்ட் பயாலஜிக்கல் ஆக்டிவிட்டிஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் இன் தி சாயில் Soil scientist Dr. Sarvanan is taking a soil sample from Senthil's tree farm. So only when all these three in a balance you can expect a soil to sustain its productivity in a long run. Hello Gayathri, good morning. I have uh, uh, two soil samples. By comparing a soil sample taken from a neighboring monocrop farm, farm this organic carbon test will assess how Senthil's tree crops are impacting the soil. The chemically fertilized sample, the organic carbon content was 0.53%. Then in the case of Sendhil's agroforestry system, it was 0.75%. Uh, if you look at the figures, it may look at a, a small difference. But even an increase of 0.1% in organic carbon, it takes a lot of uh, addition of organic matter and proper management. It's good news for Sendhil. In just seven years, his soil has dramatically improved. and crucially is retaining water sir ipo inda marathanal ungalku oru varumana varum adu vande ungalku ipo adu eppa endha varsham neenga inda varumana thedukku poringa inda varshile aarambikka poranga inda varshile enna idu idu vande inda marathala pepper eduth poranga milaga milaga adha vaisa because most farmers can't afford to wait for so long for financial returns kaveri calling is lobbying for government incentives and legislative changes to make the transition easier for farmers இன்னொரு விவசாயி நான் பார்த்தேன் அவரும் நாலாயிரம் ரெட் சாண்டர்ஸ் மரம் வச்சாங்களா பன்னெண்டு வருஷத்துக்கு முன்னாடி இப்போது அவருடைய மரத்து விலை இருபத்தைந்து கோட்டி கோட்டி லட்சம் இல்லை இப்போ ரெட் சாண்டர்ஸ் கிளியர் பண்ணியாச்சு நாம் இதில் இந்த லிஸ்டில் இருந்து நீங்கள் போட்டுக்கணும் தானே உங்கள் விவசாயத்துக்கு கூட ஒரு பத்து மரம் போட்டான் பெரிய இன்சூரன்ஸுக்கு மேலே தானே இது இந்தியா இம்போர்ட்ஸ் 45000 to 50000 crores worth of wood every year we can produce this wood which is more water efficient we need to incentivize and make sure that farmers grow the tree crop and also they wait for 5 to 6 years so when the, they start getting the fruits of the the planting the government can stop uh, supporting them so if they do it we will see the large success If we plant this 242 crore trees we can sequester anywhere between 9 to 12 trillion liters of water so 12 trillion liters extra if it goes into the land the rivers all the 120 rivers will flow your lakes will be full your wells will be full above all soil will be damp most of the year and that is what is needed unlike the previous two years 2019 experienced a significant monsoon 
ensuring that the dams are overflowing and the Kaveri is running. But for the residents of Chennai, they can no longer expect that water will be there by the summer months. To be frank, I am not going to buy my car. I am not going to buy my car. This is why this 42 rupee campaign is going on. As of today, uh, this is from 3rd of September, we have contributions for. 4 crore 27 lakh 88,961 saplings have been sponsored. Farmers trained by Project Green Hands in Tamil Nadu have bought over 22,000 acres under permanent green cover. Kaveri calling plans to increase this green cover to a third of the entire river basin. Shall we take this up? In this generation, we will at least give the soil and water as it was given to us by our parents, at least at that level to our children. Shall we?